Tensions are about to rise after China shockingly launches the Shenzhou spacecraft with Chinese astronauts aboard. In the struggle for global hegemony between China and the US, China is progressively taking the lead. From Chinese space lasers to deadly nuclear weapons over decades. This video demonstrates how American concern over Chinese spacecraft launch capabilities stems from China. The China Manned Space Agency announced in a statement that China successfully launched its Shenzhou 16 spacecraft on Tuesday, carrying three astronauts. According to the organization, the spaceship's Long March 2 Fahrenheit rocket launched from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Kobai Desert shortly after 9.30 am local time. The Shenzhou 15 crew, who have been residing there since November, will be relieved by the spacecraft when it arrives at the Chinese space station. According to CMSA, the Shenzhou 16 crew will perform equipment maintenance and scientific experiments on the space station. China launched three astronauts on its fifth manned mission to the Chinese space outpost since 2021 on Tuesday as part of crew rotation to the station, which is now fully operational. At 9.31 am, the Long March 2 Fahrenheit rocket carrying the spacecraft Shenzhou 16, also known as the Divine Vessel, and its three passengers blasted off from Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobai Desert of northwest China. Some crew of Shenzhou 15, which arrived at the space station in late November, will be replaced by the astronauts on Shenzhou 16. After 11 crewed and uncrewed missions since April 2021, starting with the launch of the first and largest module the station's main living quarters the station, which consists of three modules, was finished at the end of the previous year. The next module is expected to dock with the current T-shaped space station to form a cross-shaped structure. China has already made plans to grow its permanently inhabited space outpost. Jing Heipang, 56, a senior spacecraft pilot from China's first class of astronaut trainees in the late 1990s, was in charge of the Shenzhou 16 mission. Prior to this, he had made three trips to space, including two as the mission commander. Zhu Yangzhou and Gui Heichao, two 36-year-old members of China's third batch of astronauts, were traveling with Jing. Zhu and Gui are taking part in their first space mission. Zhu, a former professor at a military university, will work as a spaceflight engineer. And Gui, a professor at Beihang University, will oversee science experiments at the space station as the mission's payload specialist. The Chinese space program is progressing impressively. More than 40 years after Yuri Gagarin of the Soviet Union became the first human in space, the nation only launched its first crewed flight in 2003. 2020 saw the launch of China's first productive Mars mission, 50 years after the American Mariner 9 spacecraft passed the planet. But the burgeoning Asian superpower is catching up quickly, sending rovers to Mars and the Moon, launching heavy lift rockets, constructing a new space telescope that will launch in 2024, and, most recently, launching the first component of the Tangong Space Station, which is also known as the Heavenly Palace Space Station, into orbit. The Chinese space laboratories Tangong 1 and Tangong 2 were launched in 2011 and 2016, respectively. Tiangong is their successor. It will be constructed in a similar manner to the International Space Station, which is run by the European Space Agency, the United States, Russia, Japan, and Canada. When finished, Tiangong will have a core module attached to two laboratories that weigh close to 77 tons altogether 70 tons. The Tan Harmony of Heaven's core capsule is about the size of a bus. This core will house the station's living quarters as well as the control and life support systems. The Tan capsule is the largest and heaviest spacecraft China has ever built, weighing 25 tons 22.5 metric tons. Future operations of the space station will revolve around the capsule. Two slightly smaller modules are anticipated to join TAN in 2022, extending the space station and enabling a range of technological and scientific experiments. In the end, the station will have 50 external ports and 14 internal experiment racks for studies of the space environment. TAN will house up to three crew members at a time and be only one-fifth the size of the International Space Station. In June of this year, the first three taikonauts, as Chinese astronauts are referred to, are anticipated to move in. A difficult launch. On April 29, TAN was launched from the Chinese island of Hainan using a Long March 5B rocket. These rockets have a single core stage and four boosters, each of which is over 90 feet nearly 28 meters tall and almost 10 feet wide, or the height of a nine-story building. 
When fully fueled, the Long March 5B weighs about 940 tons and is capable of launching a payload of 28 tons into low Earth orbit. The massive core stage of the rocket, which weighed about 22 tons during the TAN launch, spun out of control and splashed down more than a week later in the Indian Ocean. The lack of a control system for the rocket's return to Earth has drawn criticism from other nations. However, these rockets are a crucial component of China's near-term space plans. They will be used to launch exploration probes to the Moon and eventually Mars, as well as to transport crew and modules to Tiangong. Chan made it safely into orbit despite leaving behind a massive piece of space junk. Its solar panels began producing power an hour and 13 minutes after launch, and the module came online. At a distance of about 250 miles, Chan is currently waiting for the first of 10 supply missions that will be launched over the following 18 months in order to finish building the Tiangong station. The year 2022 will see the launch of two experimental modules with the names Wenchen Quest for Heavens and Mengshen Dreaming of Heavens. Nine other countries have already agreed to conduct experiments on Tiangong, despite the fact that China is the only country building the station, which display the station's current location and its anticipated path for the next 10 days, to learn when it might be visible from where you are. Because the space station is slowly falling in its orbit and periodically boosting itself back up to higher altitudes, it should be noted that these predictions are based on models that can change quite quickly. Every 91 minutes, the station circles the planet. You can only see the station at night during the day. It won't be visible once you know the time of the station's next pass over your location, check the direction it will be coming from. Find a dark area away from bright lights, and keep an eye out for a tiny, moving spark. China is one emerging nation, according to Chris Impai, an astronomy professor at the University of Arizona. During an interview with Terry Gross, host of NPR's Fresh Air, China's space program is exhibiting the same kind of explosive growth as its economy. It has therefore increased by about 10% annually for the past 10 years. The bottom line is that China's space program is growing and NASA's is beginning to falter, despite the fact that this number is slipping a little and will probably slow down in the coming years. It's simple to overlook China when discussing space exploration. It didn't put its first satellite into orbit until 1970, after the United States had already launched several and even put men on the moon. In fact, it wasn't until 2003 that China launched its first taken on. Impai noted in his book Beyond Our Future in Space that China has benefited greatly from Russian technologies ever since it started its space program. As an illustration, China once purchased outdated Russian rockets and reverse-engineered them. And one of China's greatest assets, according to Impai, is innovation. Impai says in the NPR interview that and they're actually innovating, contrary to the stereotype that they're just sort of copying our technology. They have very young, highly motivated, and ambitious engineers working on their space program. It is focusing that aspiration into a single, well-defined goal, lunar exploration. China's Jade Rabbit rover touched down on the moon in 2013. It had been nearly 40 years since a human-made object had made contact with the moon. China says it can send people to the moon by 2022, and it has tested a number of lunar orbiters and landers successfully since then. There are even rumors of China and Russia working together to build a lunar base. 